So the idea that we're all living in just one of countless universes all running parallel to one another is a staple of a good number of science fiction stories, but as outlandish and hard to wrap our heads around as it may seem, there really could be some truth to it. Let's get into some of the theories that point towards the existence of multiple universes. And we're starting off the list with the bubble universes theory. So imagine the universe right after the Big Bang, acting kind of like a giant balloon rapidly inflating. This is the main concept of the cosmic inflation theory. According to this theory, the early universe expanded extremely quickly. Now here's where it gets kind of interesting. Picture this rapid expansion like different regions of the balloon inflating at their own speeds. In some areas inflation happens a bit faster, in others it's a bit slower. This creates pockets or bubbles within this expanding universe, kind of like different regions on the surface of the inflating balloon. In each of these bubbles, a unique set of physical laws and conditions takes shape. Each bubble becomes its own little universe, with its own rules of how things work, its own arrangement of matter, energy, and who knows what else. Next up we have cold spots. So imagine you're an astrophysicist looking at the vastness of space. Back in 2015, scientists in Hawaii noticed something strange, a, a huge empty patch where there should have been 10,000 galaxies. They call it a cold spot because it seemed like everything there had just vanished. Now, scientists at Durham University came up with a pretty fascinating idea about this mysterious cold spot. They think it might be because our universe collided with another universe, almost like two giant soap bubbles bumping into one another. When these universes collide, it could push all the energy and stuff out of a specific area, creating a big empty space. The cold spot. We might be living in one bubble universe out of trillions, and this cold spot could be the aftermath of a collision with another bubble universe. It's a bit like when two ripples in a pond meet and create a calm spot in the water. All right, now this one is pretty cool, even though it has math in the title. It's the mathematical multiverse theory. This idea centers around the concept that our entire universe is like a giant cosmic equation, and every bit of it, from tiny particles to vast galaxies, can be described and understood using math. Understood by other people and not by me, because it, math was just, I, I get sick even just saying the word. That's the core idea, though, behind the mathematical universe theory. This theory suggests that there are countless mathematical structures and each one represents a different universe. Since there are infinite mathematical possibilities, this would also mean, in theory, an infinite number of universes. So think of it a bit like this. Our universe is just one solution to the grand mathematical equation that is existence. In this mathematical multiverse, each universe has its own unique set of rules and conditions, an infinite collection of parallel universes where physics and math can be totally different from what we know. For instance, one example I tend to use, in one universe, gravity might act in a way that pulls things sideways, while in another, it might pull things up. If you're unaware, our gravity pulls us down, but the possibilities are really endless in this theory. Next on the list, of course, black holes. I mean, we gotta talk about black holes in a video like this. Black holes are mysterious regions in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, even light, can escape their gravitational pull. In the traditional understanding, once something crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it seemingly is just gone forever, lost to the singularity at the center. But some physicists have a different idea idea that black holes could lead to parallel universes. It's called the wormhole hypothesis. This idea here is that a black hole could potentially connect to a white hole or another region of space-time through a tunnel-like structure called a wormhole. A white hole is a hypothetical region where matter and light are ejected, basically the opposite of a black hole. I mean, really, it, that is the opposite. So instead of being forever stuck inside the black hole, the matter and information falling into a black hole might be transferred through a wormhole to another region of space or even a completely separate universe, almost acting like a bridge between our universe and a parallel one. All right, the simulated multiverse theory. The simulated multiverse theory suggests that our entire universe is basically a massive computer simulation. Imagine our reality being like a highly 
advanced video game or computer program that we're just unknowingly living inside of and everything we experience is generated by some incredibly powerful computer. Now who could be the ones running this simulation? It could be extraterrestrial beings with highly advanced technology or even humans from the far future running a simulation to learn about their own ancestry like a gigantic virtual reality experiment. But if our universe is just one big simulation there could be countless other simulations running simultaneously each representing a separate universe with its own unique set of rules. Basically it's just a bunch of alien children learning about us and uh, you know they're all just in their own little uh, screens watching different versions of it. Next we have the string theory multiverse. So scientists have a theory called string theory. Instead of thinking of particles as tiny dots, they imagine them as super tiny vibrating strings. So string theory says that there are more than just the usual three dimensions of space and of time that we're used to. Imagine there are extra dimensions, but they're so tiny and curled up that we can't see them in our everyday lives. Mathematicians call these curled up dimensions Calabi Yao manifolds, which are basically complex shapes used to describe these hidden dimensions. In the world of string theory, these extra dimensions can have different configurations or setups, kind of like multiple radio stations, each playing a different song. In this case, each configuration could represent a different set of physical laws and constants, the rules that govern how things work in our universe. Our universe, in this grand scheme of things, is like tuning into one specific radio station. But according to the string theory multiverse idea, there are countless other stations out there, each playing its own unique tune or each representing a different universe. So why does our universe have the particular rules that it does? The string theory multiverse brings in something called the anthropic principle. The principle says that the reason our universe has the specific laws it does is because those laws allow for the existence of life. If things were different, we wouldn't be here to even ponder it. Our next sciency theory on the list is quantum entanglement. So let's imagine we have two particles, we'll call these particle A and particle B, and these two particles become entangled. This means that they're somehow connected in a way that the state of one particle instantly influences the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. This actually happens. This is very strange because in our everyday understanding of the world, information can't travel faster than the speed of light. But with entanglement, changes in one particle state seems to happen instantaneously in the other, even if they're light years apart. So how does this relate to the possibility of parallel universes? Well, one idea is that the particles exist in multiple states at the same time until we observe them. And when we observe one particle, it instantly affects the other particle's state, no matter the distance. Some scientists speculate that when we observe one particle and it chooses a particular state, the other particle might be choosing a different state in a parallel universe. Pretty uh, hard to wrap your head around, but uh, all right, this next one is also pretty trippy. See if you can wrap your head around this because uh, I have a hard time doing so, but the holographic multiverse theory. So for this, we need to imagine that our universe is like a giant 3D movie being projected onto a screen and that all of that information making up this cosmic movie projection is actually encoded on the surface of that screen. In simple terms, the holographic principle is based on the idea that the information needed to describe a three-dimensional structure like our universe can be represented in a two dimensional way, like a hologram. So essentially all the details of a 3D object are somehow encoded on a flat surface. So some scientists have suggested that our universe, as we perceive it, might actually be this holographic projection and this would mean that everything we see around us might be a kind of illusion and the real action is happening on the screen or the boundary of our universe. So instead of thinking of separate universes with different physical laws, the holographic multiverse suggests that all these universes, including ours, might be interconnected holographic projections. Each quote unquote projection could represent a different set of 
physical laws, making it seem like its own distinct universe. This would be like having multiple TV screens, each showing a different channel. These channels or universes might seem independent, but the information that creates them is all encoded on the same screen. Next, we have probably the most mysterious radio signal ever detected, simply known as the wow signal. So in 1977, the Ohio State University's radio telescope received a very odd radio signal from outer space that lasted for about 72 seconds. The signal was so unique and unexpected that astronomer Jerry R. Iman, who was reviewing the data printout, circled the signal and just wrote wow next to it, that, hence giving it that name. What made the wow signal particularly intriguing was its frequency and intensity, which didn't match any known natural source. So what was it? Well, aliens, of course, have always been brought into the conversation, but there's also the idea that the signal might be connected to parallel universes. The signal's characteristics were so unusual that some have suggested it could be a form of communication or energy transmission from a parallel universe. Lastly, we have deja vu. Now this one is a bit different than everything else on this list uh, in that it's a phenomenon we all experience relatively frequently that science hasn't been able to give a convincing explanation for and that's led to a lot of fascinating ideas as to why it happens, including of course the existence of parallel universes. I say science hasn't been able to come up with a convincing explanation because I'm sorry, but no, I do not buy that deja vu is just experiencing something similar to something you've experienced before. That is just the lamest explanation and it seems to be the only one that the scientific world can come up with. Like, you know what we experience that's very similar day to day? Going to work, waking up, eating foods we've had before, kissing our partner if we're lucky enough to have one. Most of our lives are pretty repetitive day to day, but like we're not experiencing deja vu on a constant basis. When it pops up, it's noticeable, uncanny to an eerie degree. So what's going on here? Well, one idea is that two parallel universes perfectly line up for a brief moment and a version of yourself from a parallel universe is in the same exact situation performing the exact same action at the same time as you. Thus, you get that odd feeling like you've done this before. With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I will catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video.